Burkites now with 16. And Bergsma will come back in, but she will be hitting out of the back. Yep, doesn't worry about passing. Nebraska choosing to leave Brooke Heiss in at the service line. At times, her serve's been very difficult to handle this season from hitting it at the height she does. But not that one. Those are pretty easy to handle, those ones that yeah. go into the net. They're, I don't know what about like those those about <laughs> If you're on Come the other on, side. Come on, make them play. Fisher with a good serve. Haggerty stuffed. Solo setback for Brenner. And I'm not sure that was the right choice. That pass was so fast. The timing was completely off. Haggerty was trying to catch up to it, but never really had a good swing at it. Brenner having a terrific weekend so far for the Ducks. They'll go Haggerty again. Got it outside the block, but Jacob covered. Hubble pops it up. Back row Mancuso. There's Fisher. Brenner was off the net, and Haggerty was waiting for it. Haggerty sure was, and it looks like it got him both, actually, which is a better choice. You don't want to hit at Haggerty if you have the chance to hit at a 5-8 blocker instead. Lauren Cook has been blocking all right. She's got four. Anna Earth. Williams with the kill. Point Ducks. They win this fourth set. They win the match. Back to third, baby. Get there. Williams, 13 kills now, hitting 500 tonight. Cook looking to Haggerty. Missed it. That's only Haggerty's third hitting error herself as the stakes get higher near the end of this match. Mancuso's blocked. Timeout Nebraska. John Cook will call his team over, including his daughter. The senior center, Lauren Cook, is this their last match together? It is if Oregon has anything to say about it. Got the Men's College Cup presented by Enterprise Rent-A-Car coming your way. The championship match tomorrow afternoon at 2 Eastern. It's Indiana and Georgetown on ESPNU. Also live on the Watch ESPN app. 18 to 16, Ducks leading the Huskers. Almost half of their points this set coming off of Nebraska errors at the net and from behind the service line. Nebraska three hit it, uh, three service errors, gotten blocked a few times, hit out. Those freebies get to be very costly in a game to 25. Haley Jacobs serving, one of the seniors trying to get to that semifinal for the first time in Duck history. Cook to Mancuso. A couple of seniors trying to keep their season alive and their careers going. The class of 94 at Nebraska, the only group of seniors in the last 26 years that has not played in a national semifinal, this group of seniors has yet to go. Illegal contact on Oregon, point Nebraska. You can see Bergsma screaming not at her but with her teammates to get him going i'm impressed with the floor defense that oregon's been really putting together nebraska is known for that but oregon not so much on the block but in the second line of defense keeping a lot of plays alive alexa strange has come on to serve for the first time tonight back set to bergsma has to stay behind the line Done. Brenner, worth with a good diving play. Mancuso.
torso. Did she get a piece of the ponytail? No, she did not. Cat Fisher diving out of the way at the last moment. And Mancuso's just trying to figure out how do I get that ball down on their side of the net. Oregon even with actually a head now, 66 digs to 64 for Nebraska. Dykstra gets to the tip. Plum, looking at Bergsma. Long run for Hubble and she gets there. Back to Bergsma. 22nd kill of the night. Oregon now four points from the match after they lost the opening set. Timeout, Nebraska. What a turn of events here in Omaha. After Nebraska rolled in the opening set, they won by 10. And the Ducks responding in kind. They take the second and the third. And now up front here in the fourth. And a date with Penn State awaits the winner on Thursday night. Got two more matches coming up later here on ESPNU. Texas, USC, Stanford, Michigan. And how about the home court advantage in the NCAA tournament thus far? Not working out so well. Purdue lost in the regional semis at home. Nebraska on the ropes here at home. Texas hosting down in Austin later. Stanford across the bay in Berkeley tonight. Huskers had not dropped a set through the first three matches. They take the opening set tonight, and now they've dropped a couple in a row. And along with those errors and free points they give in Oregon, having trouble putting the ball to the floor. Only nine kills for Nebraska in this fourth set. They got 19, 16, 13, and now just nine as the match has progressed. Oregon doing it. A strong job of putting the blockers' hands in front of them. There is the architect, Jim Moore, in his eighth season. Their best year in school history. Four points away from going on for another weekend. Make it three points. Number one, Kenny Stinley, and this brother, Mike Oregon. Into the Nebraska lineup, Allison McNeil. <laughs> Cook looking to Mancuso. Fisher is there. Plum going to Bergsma. Gets another one. 23 on the night for Elena Bergsma. And Coach Cook out of timeouts, trying to slow things down with a couple of substitutions. Nebraska is stuck with just two hitters at the net. They're relying on Tramer and Mancuso, going to Mancuso again, and she still can't get the ball to the floor. And misfire for Nebraska. And the Oregon Ducks are at match point. And that'll do it for the first time in school history. The Oregon Ducks are into the national semifinals.